on YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Q. If you guys are new here, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that right now. I'm trying to reach 4K by the end of June, so if we could do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. But let's get to the video. So, I made a poll in the YouTube community area, and you guys said you want to see me break down how I made some of the guitar loops in the new kit that I just dropped. And if you did not know, I just dropped a $10 guitar loop kit. Some of my most fire loops I've ever made. 10 bucks, 10 loops. But yeah, just head to my beat stores, link in the description. Check it out. There'll be a preview somewhere in this video. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. So the loop I'm gonna be showing you guys today is called Air It Out, which is in the kit. That's my most popular loop, or I mean the loop that I just like the best from that kit. So before we do anything, I'll give you guys a little preview. As you can tell, there's a few layers here. Basically what I did for the guitar part, it is a contact library. I'll pull that guy up for you. It is this one right here, Session Guitarist Electric Sunburst Deluxe. And I was just using this clean r and preset and had it set to open in the open string guitar. And I played this melody right here. So I'll solo that out for you guys. So basically what I did is, let's see, it, I believe it's B minor. So I had the scale highlighting set to B minor and I just made these really, really large triads, which is just a chord with three notes in it. And uh, you can see the first chord right here, then you go down to the second chord and the third chord. And then I just have this top counter melody that I clipped in. And to do that for the top counter melody, all I really did is just played around with the notes and continuously moved them around until I had something that sounded real and like something that I actually thought sounded good. So here, I'll solo this out for you guys to let you hear what it sounds like. So as you can tell, it sounds like a real guitar, in my opinion at least. As real as you can really get with the VST. And what I've been doing recently to try and get my guitars to sound as real as possible, I'll watch like some videos of just some actual guitar loops, like someone actually playing a real guitar. And then I'll kind of just try and make something that sounds Sounds like what I just heard. So to break down this chord progression as easy as possible, if you think about it, when you're playing a guitar, when you're playing a guitar, you're strumming it. So you're hitting one note, next note, next note. You're not hitting all notes at the same time. So you're always gonna want to strum your chords just because that that's usually how a guitar is played. It's, it's really hard to actually hit all notes at the same time unless you're playing it in a different type of way, a different style. Another key to making your guitar loops sound a lot more real is mess around with the velocities, bring them up and down because Think about it, when you're hitting a string on the guitar, you're not hitting it at the same strength every single time. It's always different, which is basically what the velocity can recreate. So let's move on to the next part. So the next part is this piece right here, which is actually just the top counter melody that I played over top of those chords, but I just used a different bank. It's still the same electric sunburst guitar, but I used this preset called Electro Ibiza, and it's still an open string and I'll let you guys listen to that. This really sounds like uh, some, like an electric guitar that you'd hear in like, um, I'd say like a rock band or something like that, but I'm not too familiar with the guitar. So I'll let you guys listen to that real quick. So yeah, super simple. It's really like tucked down there in the back, but if you play these two together, it really, it just adds a little bit of variation. That third piece we got right here is the same contact bank. 
I just use the preset called SFX Clouds. And it's just like an accent note, which sounds like this. You can see it's super tucked away in the background, but it just has that echo and delay that really like fills out that stereo field. All right, then we got the fourth piece that I added to this loop, which is just an arcade bank. Uh, let's see if, oops, not analog lab. Um, arcade right here. I used a bank from Hooked called Running. I just set the scale to B minor right here. So if you don't know how arcade works already, basically what it is, it's just, it's like a, a big series of banks that just has a bunch of different sounds in them and each uh, line, for example, so they call it lines in arcade. So you go to browse and you go to lines, there is uh, different lines like this. You got like the 80s beatbox, you got all these different types of things, which just have like a category of sound. And if you go to hooked, which is right here, you can see there's tons and tons of different banks and it's just a bunch of different vocal chops. And the one I'm using is called running and I'll show you guys exactly what this sounds like. Super simple. I just played with it until I got what I liked and sounded really good together. So the bass super simple. I went to analog lab and I set the presets to um, the Prophet 5 and then just went to types of bass. And the one I'm using is called Bass Wave. Just sounds like your basic synth bass. You can find these anywhere. And I just copied the uh, root note of the chord progression. So super simple. So I did make a beat with this loop. So if you wanna hear that, I will pull that up real quick. Let me just close out of this file. So as you can see, the loop is in here, aired out 173 BPM, set at B minor. And all we got here is an 808, clap, hi-hat, snare, second snare, and an open hat. And, uh, and then there is a kick that comes in a little later on the second drop. So the 808, I just followed the root note and added like a little bit of accent notes that you can hear in here, like this right here. It's a one sixth note roll. The hi-hat is probably the most complex thing, just because I felt like this hi-hat needed something more than a two-step pattern. Then everything else is pretty simple. I'll let you guys listen to how the drums sound. It's a plain beat, but you don't need too much. You don't want to take too much out of the track before the rapper hops on it. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, smash that like button. It helps with the algorithm. It gets my videos out there so you can see it on the YouTube homepage. If you guys like what you hear, if you guys like that guitar loop or any of the previewed sounds that you heard, the link in the description for my kit that is out now. 10 loops, 10 bucks, super simple, super fire loops. So go cook up with them. Follow me on all my social medias at OKQ. And if you did not know, I have a Discord server. Link is in the description. Check that out. Come chat with me and stuff like that. But that is all I got for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Go vote in the community tabs on YouTube with the next video. Peace out. Yeah. Turn it up, Q.